hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video we are going to talk about the data load design patterns and i will try to make this video as easy as possible okay you will hear some terminologies which might be different in different organizations but the concept will be pretty much same okay so when i say data load design patterns i will be covering these two things here okay one is full load and the second one is incremental load okay so le let's try to understand where exactly we are using it and why there is uh, actually a need of these two uh, lo loading patterns okay so if you have a simple architecture small amount of data and uh, not so many frequent changes i will i will say you should better go ahead with the full load but if there are couple of changes you will get every time a new record like a transactional data or something right you should better go with the incremental load so le let me try to explain it in more simple terms okay do it quickly okay so let's say this is your ingestion layer where you will be ingesting the data okay and this is your sorry this is your transformation layer okay and you have one source file here okay and then again one target sorry one target location okay so when i say source file it means this file has all the data in it right correct now let's say if you wanted to process this file you can simply load this data right using ingestion layer and then you can use this ingestion layer data or ingested data in a format and you can perform some transformations and then again you can load the data into your target location from where you will be using it for the power bi or some design or some uh, maybe business logic things okay now this source file is having let's say some records okay and you know that these records are not gonna change so frequent okay and even if there is any change you will be getting a new source file okay you will be getting a new source file which is having existing record as well as the new record as well as the updated record or the overridden record okay so every time if you are getting this file okay it will be with the new set data as well as with the old set of data it means let's say in the source file initially you have 100 records or the 10k records 10000 records okay you will process this file with these 10000 records it will be loaded into the transformation layer and then the target layer okay but eventually maybe after after one month or two months you are getting some new set of data or maybe one year right and this time you don't have 10000 records but you have 12000 records which has 2000 new records and maybe some updated records right but it will also have these 10000 records which got updated which have some updates in it or which have so so all these 10000 records will be a part of the new source file as well as the new 2000 records will be part of that file right so what you're gonna do you don't have to just find out those 2000 files or those updated records right you don't have to do this because it's a small file and these changes will be like not everyday changes okay so what you can do you can simply reload this file okay so what you will do you will reload this file with the 12000 records okay and here you can use overwrite maybe some overwrite function to overwrite your table or the source or the ingestion file and then you will overwrite your transformation table after that maybe some delta table or something okay and then again you will overwrite from 12 records from 10 records to 12 records basically yeah from 10 records to 12 records and again it will be overwritten here as well and same will be moved to your target location so this is how the full load works okay so in simple terms in the full load 
right it will be for the small files or it will be used where the data is not changing quite frequently okay you are not getting a new set of records every day or after every interval right but what if you are getting it then incremental load will come into the picture okay so let's let's take one more example and this time we will be we will be mostly talking about the incremental load okay i'll make it as this box sorry uh sorry yeah. let's try to make it simple yes okay so till now we talked about uh, full load okay this sphere and now we will be talking about the incremental load let's say this is your full load okay now we'll talk about the incremental load in the incremental load let's say in the day one or when you started loading your data in the day one right you will get some source file okay i will say day one will have some records let's say 30000 or something okay and you will be loading these records say right in the target okay sorry okay so what will happen these 30000 records will process to the ingestion then do some transformation and then will be loaded to the target location now in the day 2 when the day 2 come into the picture okay you will get another set of records maybe 60000 new records okay so now you will be processing these records again right you will be processing these records again from here to ingestion layer then ingestion to again transformation layer and then this set of data will be loaded to your um, target location okay so in the target location now you should be having 90,000 records okay same goes for the next day file let's say again one new file will come into the picture and this time you are getting maybe 20,000 records or maybe 10,000 records 10,000 new records here I am talking about just don't get confused okay I am not talking about the existing records I am not talking about the updated records I am talking about the new records altogether so again we got some new records this time 10,000 records and then those are also loaded and now here the data will be uh, from 90,000 it will become 10 here yeah, one like right Correct. Now you have one lakh of records. Correct. But so if you see in the incremental load, we are keep on loading the data. Right? We are not just reprocessing everything. We are processing every day one new file. Correct. So if you see here, when we are saying that new set of file, it means we need to maintain some logic. Okay. We need to maintain some logic. load the new set of files first of all then once these files will be loaded you need to append these records right in existing file or table or whatever you can say okay and then you need to perform some transformation again on these tables now there are some other scenarios also will also come into the picture now let's suppose the files which you have loaded right will have the old data which got modified okay so you need to have a system which will handle the modified records okay in the target location okay where you have scd2 and scd1 comes into the picture now what is scd2 scd1 i'll try to create one more video on it but you need to mod handle these records as well okay now you have to handle deleted record as well 
in some lo- in some scenarios in some business uh, requirement you have to delete the records also from target location okay there are chances that you will be loading new set of data but transformation is required for complete data okay that could also be a possible scenario now how we will be handling all these kind of different type of scenarios i will be trying to cover all these scenarios in a different video okay maybe i will create one video on this and we'll see like how we can handle those things but in this video the overall uh, the main point was to explain you what is full load and what is incremental load so when you have a small file or a, a file which is not going to change so frequently you can use full load <clears throat> but if you have a, some transactional data okay you should use incremental load so the data will be loaded for each date or for each month or for each week or how i mean in which or whichsoever uh, form the data is coming and whichsoever date the data is coming okay so that the the new data will keep on appending and the updated data and the updated data will or or the changed or modified data will keep on updating okay so i hope this video will helpful for you i think it will give you some clarity on full load and incremental load thank you thanks for watching this video